Welcome back. Two key accused in the murder of journalist Gauri Lankesh were felicitated and garlanded by right-wing groups in the Vijaypura region of Karnataka. This happened on Saturday. Their hometowns as they walked free on bail six years since they were jailed. In a shocking and bizarre display, Parshuram Vagmore, the man accused of cold-blooded murder of activist and journalist Gauri Lankesh, and Manohar Ridave, a recruiter for the right-wing crime syndicate accused in the murder, were publicly honoured by pro-Hindutva groups in Karnataka's Vijaypura, shortly as they walked out of jail, as I said earlier. The video, of course, is viral. Gauri Lankesh was highly critical of Hindutva policies and the Sangh Parivar, was shot dead on September 5th, 2017, right outside her residence in Bengaluru. Since 2018, 11 of the 17 accused have been granted bail till date. Remember, one of the accused, Mohan, um, if I remember the name, name correctly, Mohan Nayak walked out on bail and it was the sister and the Maharashtra government who went on to file an appeal against the bail being granted in court. And this was rejected, not only by the High Court, but also by the Supreme Court. Supreme Court, in, in fact, upheld what the High Court stated, and that was the incarceration of the accused and the huge delay in trial. I'm being joined at this point by Dr. Lakshmi Ashwin Gowda, who's a spokesperson for BJP, Dr. Nikul Patel, who's a political analyst, as well as Vijay Grover, a very senior journalist. Thank you very much, all three of you, for joining me. First to you, Dr. Nikul Patel, ho kya raha hai? what is happening? Yeah. See, if you see the mindset of the people who are welcoming this kind of people who used to kill a journalist only because he was criticizing some particular religion. Now, if you see the Hindutva is something which supports people and on which uh, Bharatiya Janata Party also banks. And that is how you see the entire episode. What is happening right now is all critically thinking that really this is what the Hindutva is, where you support the people who are killing someone. And on the day of Vijaya Dashmi, they are telling that Vijaya Dashmi is what? If you see, it is nothing but uh, success on evil. Yani, burai pe achai ki jeet. Yani, they want to portray by putting such garlands and welcoming this kind of people and showing that we are happy with the people who are coming out of the jail because they were supporting the core Hindu to extremists by killing someone who is criticizing it. So this is not the correct message or the picture what really we can see in this kind of images. Dr. Nikol Patel, it's definitely not the correct picture and you have blamed the BJP as well as pro-Hindutva groups. I'll go to them in a bit. But do you agree that Congress is a big part of this problem as well? Uh, pardon, what you ask? Congress? Do you agree that Congress is a big part of this problem as well? You've, of course, blamed the BJP and the pro-Hindutva group, to which we will go to the respective people and ask their responses. But do you also look at what the courts have said and see how Congress is a big part of this problem? I'll ask you questions as specific, but this is the introductory question. So I'm leaving, leaving it open-ended for your interpretation and response. See, if you talk of Congress, means the Karnataka government there has... Uh, come with the special investigation team, I think, and they were they are not in support of this kind of activity over here. If you see, I'm not telling that BJP is supporting such activity, but the Hindutva concept of the country is that it's a piece of leaving people who used to support everyone. And when it comes to uh, such kind of activity, definitely it is a part of criticism and uh, if it had been by some Muslim leader or someone, then definitely Bharatiya Janata Party would have come out like flying colors. But over here, no, why no, no. They are before not you even go into that religious angle, has the Congress government moved against this? Has the government Congress government moved uh, the moved the court against this cancellation for bail? Has the Congress government taken any step if they don't welcome it? 
Yeah, see, that depends upon the Karnataka government what they will do. But definitely, I think they must file a uh, file a petition in uh, not granting the bail to such people who are really killing uh, the journalists who used to uh, portray the facts of the democracy where uh, she was killed for speaking is, is speaking about it very critically. Dr. Lakshmi, if I can get you in, Dr. Lakshmi Gowda, do you condemn what happened? Ma'am, I would like to emphasize on one fact that our BJP party and its ideological base, it is being the developmental politics, good governance, ethical governance, protection of protection and propagation of Sanatana Dharma, which is the basic tenet of our existence. And it is our BJP party that has created a salubrious, the most salubrious and congenial atmosphere for peace, prosperity, communal harmony, and internal security in the length and breadth of a country. In contrast to this, the Congress dispensation in Karnataka is busy doing Muslim appeasement Dr. politics. Dr. Lakshmi Gowda, I'm asking politics. you one question. Do you condemn and what has happened? Is it condemnable or is it not? I'm just trying to understand the party stand. It is strictly condemnable if at all if they are question. involved in this particular act. And there is a saying that they were wrongly framed just because they belong to a particular religion, that is Hindu. They were framed. They were framed. And Congress at this point, at this juncture, doesn't have a compunction in releasing and for having released the PFI and STPI are activist. And the Congress party doesn't have a compunction in clearing the in, in clearing the okay, let me just understand. Mostly, let me just understand, Dr. Naya Lakshmi Gowda. You are saying it's condemnable. It's you are saying that it's condemnable that these accused have been framed. That's what you're saying. You are not... Um, I, I'm trying to understand what's your response to these visuals of the accused walking out of jail. They're accused. They're only out on bail and being garlanded and facil felicitated. I'm trying to understand if it that is, is a not, condemnable action according to BJP or not. It is not BJP party stand. We always propagate peace, prosperity and communal harmony in the length and breadth of the country. It is the BJP central no, government I don't leadership, understand your response. leadership that has given the utmost internal security to the country. It is the central leadership which has created a congenial atmosphere for all the religions to thrive well in the soil. I don't the understand BJP your response. Party doesn't support this. I'm again the asking BJP you this question. Party do what that. do you make out of the visuals of the accused? I'm just trying to understand the political lines here. I'm just trying to understand what does BJP stand as the accused walk out of jail on bail after six years? What is the BJP stand of the visuals that you're seeing on your screen of the accused being garlanded and felicitated? Ma'am, did you see any BJP leaders in the line? Any BJP, particular BJP leader standing there? Did you mean... Did, no, 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 no. I'm asking you... No, no, th there's no doubt about it because I have not said that to you. Not once did I say there were BJP leaders there. But before, I mean, the Congress is in government right now, but the Congress was also in government. When the court speaks about delays, it works to both the governments. I have asked you at least four times what's been your party's stand on these visuals. You haven't responded to that. I guess that's an answer in itself. Vijay Grover, how is this seen locally in Karnataka? Of course, Gauri Lankesh's brutal killing wasn't just a Karnataka issue. And it's not just one such instance. There have been series of others, including rationalists and left leaders who have been killed. And what the court has been told, all of this has been part of a larger syndicate. Um, but particularly sticking to these visuals, how was the scene in Karnataka? Well, see, it's a very unfortunate thing we are seeing now that, you know, this kind of thing is becoming a routine and a habit where, you know, accused in the case were undergoing trials. We saw it in Gujarat, and we're now seeing it over here, uh, that, you know, uh, they're felicitated by these kind of organizations who try to get the limelight and uh, send a message. Now, I feel that this is something which is a very dangerous trend because it trivializes the lower judiciary, and that's something which, you know, clearly the entire uh, thing that we're seeing over here, or what we saw in Gujarat when, the Supreme Court had to step in and, you know, uh, send the people accused in the mass rape and uh, killing uh, back to jail. Now, clearly, this is something which influences lower judiciary, and this is a very dangerous trend. Yesterday, uh, the BGP spokesperson here will say 
the way they protested uh, against the discharge of cases against 138 people who were uh, caught in the Hubli riots in uh, 2022 when there was a BJP government here. And we had a similar case where uh, when there were riots in Bangalore, uh, violence on the police station uh, last last year. Now, clearly, these are things where you cannot have extrajudicial judgment or influencing the judgments kind of activity. This incident yesterday clearly is an act of, you know, defying the judiciary. And it should not be accepted by any. I'm Absolutely. glad has condemned it, though she is trying to, you know, expand to the larger Hindutva of her body. Right. Dr. Nikul Patel and to uh, Dr. Lakshmi Gowda, both of you, I have this question. Gauri Lankesh was killed in 2017. It was in 2020. At least 11 accused are out. At least 11 of 17 accused are out on bail. The last being what we mentioned, the two people who were felicitated. In 2023, when Mohan Nayak came out, the court was told, uh, in it was in 2017, I think he came out, and then eventually it was challenged by the sister as well as uh, the government, the Karnataka government, and the court was we're told that out of 527 witnesses, 137 have been examined. Another 137 are likely to back out. Again, another 150 are likely to drop out. And only 100 witnesses might be remaining to be examined. If this is how a case like Gauri Lankesh is going to be handled, and this question is both to Congress and BJP because both of you have been in the government during this period, since the killing of Gauri Lankesh. Both of you have answers. One is, of course, Congress that is in power currently. But I don't think the BJP can rub it off entirely because all of this has also been reflected in courts even when the BJP was in power. First, of course, to you, uh, uh, first, of course, to you, Dr. Nik Nikul Patel. Has the government <laughs> failed to ensure that there has been trial, trial that can meet with justice and enough evidences, conclusive manner of how the entire evidence of this case was put together? You have witnesses dropping off. See, firstly, I would like to say that uh, whatever the government uh, it may be, a BJP or a Congress, it's a judiciary matter and judiciary is taking its own time to integrate and investigate or to listen all the uh, witnesses, as you rightly said. And when the trial is on... Dr. The Nikola, judiciary I'm not talking only about the judiciary. I will not ask you a question about judiciary. I'm talking about how the witnesses have been put together, how the case has been put together and the probe. I am not talking about the judicial process to the you. Why would I ask about the judicial process to you? Vijay Grover, you're saying something. Please go ahead, Vijay Grover. If I can have you for a minute. Yes, please. I said, you know, it's no point, no, no point raising a finger on the judiciary. The prosecutors the is controlled by the state government. The PPs are all appointed by the state government. It is they who delay or, you know, hasten a case. And I will, as you rightly said, that both the parties are equally responsible because none of them actually tried to get justice for Gauri Lankesh. And it's unfortunate that seven years down the line, we all know that the killing of Gauri Lankesh was political messaging of the, the Hindutva groups at that time to silence voices which were rational in uh, nature. And if, you know, both the BJP and the Congress government have not told their public executors to actually speed up the cases because they have just been buying. And that's very unfortunate to say that the judiciary is lingering on. Judiciary doesn't linger on. The PPs delay the case. The PPs, if they want, they can actually finish up the cases much earlier and submit the details to the court. Dr. Nikul, as well as Dr. Lakshmi, quick responses to what you've heard just now. 
Uh, Ma'am, BJP dispensation has always allowed the smooth functioning of the law and order. In contrast to Congress dispensation that has completely paralyzed law and order administration in the state of Karnataka. When we were in the power, we have ensured smooth functioning and to, and to follow the legal co no, due legal course of action in case of Gauri Lankesh. See, at this point of time, it is Congress government without like, having any function. Could you, could you give us specifics? To create a political could you give us specifics? Conundrum, because from what it seems, it clearly is a very different case in court but sure if you're making that claim dr lakshmi gowda could you ex give us specifics of how you expedited the entire investigation and evidence collection before the court we have actually expedited the process it is the congress government which is slowing down the and how? which is which is responsible that no i want to know specifics ma'am we have a right to know the specifics because they have beyond rhetoric from both of you Frame few Hindu fra Hindu Hindu youth in that, and they've wrongly framed in that. They're doing all that, and they're trying to political conundrums. Try and create the political conundrums time and again. When when the chief minister himself is in the process of, I mean, he is on the verge of resigning from the chief ministerial post because he himself involved in the Muda scam. No, Dr. Lakshmi Gowda, I really am Muda not Muda. understanding what you are saying. Yeah. Because on one hand you are saying, on one hand you are saying the BJP government did everything to ensure that the case of Gauri Lankesh was expedited. On the other hand, you are saying that Hindus are being falsely implicated and charged and framed. I do not get how the two come together. You have to take one side. I do not understand what you are coming and speaking. If you would want to clarify, I'm giving you another opportunity. Ma'am, it is the Congress government which has always been doing and it is known for doing Muslim appeasement policies, the vote bank politics. As I've clearly told you earlier, they always do, they always, there has been you increase did not in the because, criminal violence, oh, cases of criminal okay, violence. Okay, I get what you're trying to say. I think all our viewers will also I'm get that. I have to give the others also right to respond. Dr. Nikul Patel, kindly respond. Um, you've heard Dr. Lakshmi Gauda speak. I give you a minute and after yeah. that I have to go to Mr. Vijay Grover. Yeah, I would just like to say that Bharatiya Janata Party wants to blame Congress, but last five years, if they want to do things, then they might have expedited the things. Now, over here, the fact that is coming in the pictures that how they are being welcomed and cheer is, that is not the correct gesture what Hindutva is. So that is not to be condemned by Bharatiya Janata Party. The court will take its due procedure. The delays might have happened at executive level, but judiciary no, is taking its No, but the point is this, Dr. Nikul, this happened on Saturday. You are conveniently firing off the shoulders of the BJP. This happened on Saturday, more than 48 hours. The Congress government has not gone ahead and objected. Of course, the Congress, I think the minister has gone to say that they will take up cases against um, um, against those who felicitated them. We are waiting to see whether that action will happen. Nonetheless, uh, nothing has moved legally. Vijay Grover, very quickly, a last minute to you. Well, uh, see, unfortunately, uh, while well, the BJP spokesperson is blaming the Congress for the delay, let me just tell her that out of the last seven years since this case has been on, five years it's been BJP government and for two years it's been the Congress government. So if they wanted, they could have, you know, ended the trial much earlier, even before Siddharamaya took charge again uh, in 2022. So clearly this is something where, you know, as I told you, political parties are only trying to exploit the sentiment of the people and it's journalists uh, like uh, Gauri Lankesh and others whose voices have been silenced because, you know, uh, if press freedom is something that, you know, both the BJP and the Congress agree to, the fact is this kind of incident should have exemplary punishment irrespective of the religion of the people. It is not, uh, you know, enough to say that just because uh, the accused are Hindu, so they are innocent. You cannot judge people by the virtue of the fact that he is a Hindu or a Muslim. All right. The fact is the criminal is a criminal. Okay, I think, Vijay Grover, you've made your point and we can just leave it at that. My director is telling me to wrap. We are totally out of time. Dr. Lakshmi Gowda, Dr. Nikul Patel and Vijay Grover, thank you very much for sharing your opinions and sparing your time. But one thing is for sure, travesty of justice or delay of justice, we leave it for our viewers to decide. Nonetheless, accused, alleged killers being felicitated and garlanded. The victim, the dead person in this case, was journalist Gauri Lankesh.